So the lost wax casting of the balls was turned out to be way too labor intensive. So went and picked this up today. Three and a half inch solid billet of steel. I'm going to attempt to make a uh, openable ball mold similar to the old musket ball molds. Okay, so we have our two billets cut. Now we're going to chuck them up in the lathe and face them and start boring our, boring our holes. So I've been cleaning these up with the die grinder and I'm starting to starting to get excited. They're looking good. A little bit more polishing to do, but they feel good. Symmetrical. This one here's got a little bit of a of a divot right there. I made the film with the welder after. So I'm just polishing them up here now, get them as clean and shiny as possible. So here it is all ready to test. Crank handle on the end. Crank it in. Clamp's nice and tight. Got the fill hole or the sprue on top. Well done, this big heavy end off of some sort of a fuel tank. It's like half inch thick plate steel, so there's lots of weight there, so it's not going to tip over or anything. Just got the foundry going, melting down some scrap. Going to take probably 10 minutes or so to get it all melted down. Okay, so here's my first run of cannonballs. I got six and a half. So I clean up one ball, just kind of hit it with the grinder. That's all it needs for the cannon. Fits in the barrel beautifully. Can't wait to shoot these guys. That should pack quite the punch. Fair bit of weight to it, really, even being aluminum. Gonna be fun. Take care. Hope you enjoyed.